When booking a flight, understanding whether you need to pick up your checked luggage during the connection can be difficult, especially if you're new to flying. That's because sometimes your luggage will either be transferred over to the next flight for you, or you'll need to go and collect it yourself. So how do you know which scenario will happen? Well, in this video, I'll be answering your questions about luggage during connecting flights so that you can understand which layovers you'll need to recheck your bag and which ones will transfer automatically. Let's go. Dream vacations start here. So let's get right into it. The first question is about domestic flights. You have to recheck luggage on domestic flights. For most connecting flights, you won't need to recheck your luggage. If you purchase both flights in a single booking, then your bag will almost always be transferred to the final destination. If you purchase your ticket separately, then you will have to recheck your bag at the connecting airport. And a tip for you here to know for sure where your bag is going to end up is to look at the luggage label that will be printed out and placed on your bag. It will have a three-letter airport code at the airport of your final destination, which should also match the three-letter airport code that will be displayed on your boarding pass. The rest of the questions are going to be about luggage on connecting international flights. And at any point during this video, you realize that you'll need to recheck your luggage at the connecting airport. I have a guide at the end of this video that will go through how that process works. So feel free to skip ahead to that section of the video if you need to. So the next question I have is, will my luggage be transferred automatically on my connecting international flight? This really depends on how you booked your flight, and there are two scenarios. The first scenario is that you booked your flights on the same ticket, meaning you purchased your flights in a single purchase, either directly on the airline's website or app or third-party website. If you did this, then your bags will most likely be transferred to the next flight for you. The second scenario is that your flights are booked with different airlines, but both have a partnership agreement with each other. This partnership, or it may also be called an interline agreement between two airlines, simply provides a way for passengers to book flights on multiple airlines without the hassle of booking each one separately. So for example, if you were to book a flight on Delta Airlines to an airport where Delta doesn't operate, Delta would offer you a flight connection somewhere, most likely at one of their hubs where the first or second flight would be operated by Delta and the other one by a partner airline like Air France or KLM. If the two airlines have a partnership agreement in place, it means the airline which operates the first leg of your flight will automatically transfer your luggage to the partner airline. So when you check your bag in for your first flight, you won't have to worry about picking it up at the connecting airport. Just double check the printed label of your bag at the time of check-in to verify your bag is indeed going to your final destination. So how do you find out if both airlines have partnership agreements? If you booked your flights on the same website and they're on the same ticket, then they have a partnership agreement. But other than that, there's no simple way to tell other than doing your own research or calling the airline directly. But I give you some of the major ones around. Air Canada, Lufthansa, SAS, Thai Airways, and United Airlines are all in a partnership. Aeromexico, Air France, Delta Airlines, and Korean Air is another partnership and American Airlines, British Airways, Cathay Pacific, and Qantas is the other. Moving on to the next question, when do we need to pick up and recheck your luggage on a connecting international flight? There are three scenarios when you'll need to do this. Number one, when each flight is booked separately and the airlines don't have a partnership agreement. If you're flying on different carriers with different tickets, meaning each flight was booked separately, then your luggage will not get transferred and you'll have to do this yourself. If this is something that you have to do, make sure you give yourself a longer layover between flights to be able to accomplish this. How much time depends on the airport. Generally, you have to pick up your bag, recheck it in with the next airline, and then go through security again. So the bigger the airport, the more time you should give yourself. The second scenario is when the connection country requires you to go through customs. If you're on an international trip and the country you are flying into for your connecting flight requires you to go through customs, you'll need to exit the plane, collect your luggage, go through customs, and then check your luggage all over again. It can be a hassle, but there's no getting around it. This requirement exists because some countries want to make sure that all incoming passengers are not bringing anything into the country illegally, even if you're only there for a connecting flight. This means you'll need to do some research and find out what kinds of items are illegal in that country. For example, most countries will not allow you to bring any plants, fruits, vegetables, meats, eggs, rice, and other goods. Your check luggage will be scanned for these items when going through customs and immigration. This is especially true of the countries of Canada, the U.S., Mexico, the EU, and the Philippines. If you have a connecting flight through either of these countries, then you will be required to recheck your luggage upon arriving. The third scenario is that the next airport in your itinerary doesn't have a customs facility. If you're flying into a less popular airport that doesn't have customs facilities, then you will be required to go through customs at the previous airport, which also means you will be required to recheck your bag at your last connection airport. For example, if you booked a flight from New York to Girona, which is a smaller Spanish airport without customs near Barcelona with a connecting flight to Amsterdam, 
you will be required to recheck your bag in Amsterdam because Girona doesn't have customs facilities. If, however, you are flying from New York to Amsterdam to Barcelona, you would not have to recheck your bag in Amsterdam because Barcelona has customs facilities. All right, let's go ahead and move into some other questions. What happens to luggage on international flights with a domestic connection? If you're going to be flying to another country and then having a connecting flight to another city within the same country, then you'll most likely need to recheck your luggage upon arriving into the first airport in that country. This is because most countries require all arriving passengers to go through customs and immigration when first arriving into the country, even if it's just a connection. Do I have to pay any fees for rechecking my luggage? Generally, you shouldn't have to pay any extra fees for rechecking your luggage during a connection. If you purchase flights on the same booking and you already paid the luggage fees for both flights, or if check luggage is free, then there shouldn't be any additional fees. If you purchase your ticket separately for each of your flights, then you might need to pay again to check your bag. What is the minimum layover time when traveling with check luggage? The absolute minimum time you need for a short layover is 30 minutes for domestic flights and 60 minutes for international flights. This is assuming that you arrive on time and won't need to recheck your luggage and the customs and security lines are short enough. I personally like to give myself two or three hours between international connecting flights. For one, I like to be able to walk around for a little while, especially if I've just been sitting for a long period of time on the plane. And two, if there happens to be any delays, I still have plenty of time to catch my connecting flight. And three, it'll give me time to go through the process of rechecking my bag if I need to. Can I short check my luggage? If your layover is long enough, some airlines will allow you to short check your checked bag. Short checking, if you're not familiar with the term, means that you will be rechecking your luggage at your connection airport. So instead of checking your luggage all the way to the final destination, you will tell the airline at the time of check-in that you would like to short check your luggage. This is useful if you have a long enough layover and you have plans to do something during the layover. For example, you might schedule a meeting during your layover, which will require you to change clothes, or there might be items that you will need during your layover that would be otherwise too big to fit in a carry-on bag. In either case, you should ask the airline at the time of check-in whether or not they will allow you to short check your luggage. So as promised, I'll leave you with a general guide on how to recheck your luggage during a layover. Number one, when you arrive at the layover destination, you have to pick up your check bag inside the airport at a designated area. You won't be able to miss it since the airline staff won't let you wander around the airport without picking up your luggage first. Number two, with your check bag, you'll have to go to the customs and immigration area. You have to show them your passport and they'll check your luggage for any items that might be illegal to bring into that country, like meat, eggs, milk, fruit, vegetables, and other illegal items. Number three, sometimes airports will have a dedicated rechecking area where you'll just drop off your bag straight after going through customs. Number four, in other airports, you'll have to recheck your bag manually by waiting in line at the check-in desk. Number five, once you've reached the check-in desk, you can drop off your luggage and pick up your boarding pass. Number six, you'll then have to go through security again as you normally would. And then number seven, you can go to your gate and wait until boarding starts. If you have any questions about anything I covered, please leave your questions down in the comment section of this video, and I'll be happy to answer those for you. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you check out some of my other videos that may be helpful to you as well. Thank you so much for watching this one, and I can't wait to catch you in a future video.